So this video today is another older video. Uh, I wasn't, I don't know if I'd consider it a vlog, but it was a video that I made last spring and it's of me restoring my boat. All the stuff that I used to work on the boat is listed below. So if anybody's trying to fix their boat up or any, do any kind of cosmetic work, most likely you're gonna find anything you need on the list below. So two summers ago, wait, let me go back, okay? So for like the last 10 years, I have been looking for a boat. For a long time, I was looking for a bass boat. And as my kids got older, I, I started to change a little bit and I was looking for more of a sporting boat where I could fish on it, but I could also use it as a, uh, like a ski boat and stuff like that. So I was on Craigslist and this boat that had popped up, it was a nitro fishing ski. It's a nitro 180 sport. It was the boat that I really, really wanted. It was the one I wanted the most because I really like nitro boats. But there was something wrong. The price said $6,000. Every boat that I had found for around this year and in this model was about fifteen dollars to $16,000. So when I saw $6,000, I thought it was one of those you know, Google money scams or whatever where people say, hey, yeah, send me the money and I'll ship it to you. That's fake, okay? I thought for sure it was one of those, but I had to call, so I called. And when I called, they said, yes, the boat is, is $6,000, it runs fine, but the seats and the carpet is rotted. The person that owned it before never covered the boat. So on my birthday, we go and we pick up this boat. And we used it the entire first year, just as it was, you know, the rotted seats and uh, the carpet, there really wasn't, I, I shouldn't say rotted, they were just really cracked and there wasn't like black mold growing all over it or anything like that. I was still determined to remodel it. I wanted to get new seats and I wanted to get new carpet. For everything else, it was pretty much just, we just needed cleaned and, and so on. So right here, we're taking out the battery charger. Decided they wanted to screw it in into, a, into the boat and no person with normal hands can do this so I'm pretty sure Donald Trump installed this installed this boat charger with his little tiny hands <laughs> so we're trying to get back there I got this little tiny screwdriver I don't know if we're gonna be able to get to it so I'm, I know whoever you are to install this boat charger in my boat I know you're laughing I don't have a problem making sweet riffs I have a problem being able to play them for long periods of time so what we're unhooking is we're installing a new boat charger I gotta unhook it. But right now I'm just trying to figure out what is what. So, what is this? So, me and DeAndre get done what we need to get done for the day, or we got done what we could get done for the day. And I take it home and go outside, and I realize that the tire is flat. And the tire is flat is because the leaf spring has completely broken the two pieces. And as I was backing into the driveway, the leaf spring jabbed my tire and, and tore it off. So not only do I need a new tire, I also need a new leaf spring. Put that leaf spring on real quick. Um, nothing really exciting, but that's exactly, I do, that's at least, I just want to let you know what's going on here. So you're not just caught in the wind thinking I'm redoing the trailer and everything. So why would I do that? I uh, got these taken off. I had my son sanding them down and it really didn't work. So I got this goof off stuff. I was using it on the boat and they work really good. So I'm gonna use this, strip the rest of this off today, wipe it down real quick, and then I'm gonna carpet it, let it 
sit overnight here in my office and then hopefully put it on tomorrow or sometime later this week. So I want to show you how quick this stuff works. Obviously this isn't a paid sponsor. I'm not getting paid to show you this or anything like that. It's pretty obvious when I have like zero subscribers so far. So this is pretty much just to help people out because adhesive kind of sucks. So I have literally just put that on. sand it, just didn't do anything but just clog up my sandpaper. Hey. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to cut all the pieces of carpet for the doors and then that way they're all pre-sized so then when I glue them I can just put it right on and it's ready to go. I don't have to try to cut it or anything like that afterwards. Obviously I'm going to make it a little bit too big, you know, it's got to be able to wrap around and then uh, I have to make some cuts while I'm gluing it. But this should speed up the process a little bit for me. I really want to get this done today and get on my boat in the next couple days. This little adhesive spreader. Put it on here. Up, I got all these pieces to put back together. I have two issues. One, I'm missing two. Two, I didn't take pictures of any of these to know which seats they go to, so I'm kind of guessing as I go. Um, and hopefully it works out because otherwise it's going to take me a really long time to put these together. So I was worried about I was going to go with my boat. 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 And I was looking at it. The main reason I wanted to go with my boat is because I wanted the holes to be lined up right. And then I looked at it, I flipped it over, and no matter which way you flip it, the holes are lined up. Sometimes I use my brain. I went out and bought some rubbing compound that's made specifically for boats and I didn't realize there was a difference but 
if you ever want to redo your boat, make sure you get the boat stuff because I, I did it the year before with regular car compound and it just really didn't turn out. I just thought it was too far gone. The guy at the boat shop says, no, there's just so many layers of clear coat on boats that you really have to have a really dense compound to be able to break through all those layers to get that shine to come out. So if you're ever going to polish your boat, polish it with the boat compound. Do not use car compound. It really did make a difference as you see right here. seats out of the boat I'm about to take all the parts off the old seats and then put them on the new seats bassboatseats.com i think is where i got the new seats if you go to the website they got all types of different brands of, of bass boat seats uh, mine is a fish and ski and i do have fish and ski uh, seats but none technically were made for my boat but i went with the closest bench seat was 68 inches uh, the dimensions of the three separate seats are a little bit different but they should fit okay and then i didn't get the bucket seats for the front they'll be a little bit more expensive eventually I'll, I'll probably get them but i was on a limited budget here because of so much stuff i'm doing to the boat so basically for my driver seat and my passenger seat i'm using a uh, fishing seat but i'll be able to put it down buckle it and make sure that it doesn't get all wet in the rain and so on but this time I'm gonna keep my boat covered. All right, so yesterday I discovered that the seats don't fit. So we took the, the folding seats that I was gonna use for my bucket seats and put those into the back. The problem we've had converting the seats that were supposed to go there was there was no system where the back connected to the front. Me and this guy that doesn't like to be on camera, we came up with a system that works to connect the seats together. I'm pretty sure they're gonna be strong enough to hold me. And I wanted to make the first one off camera because if I didn't get it right, then I wasn't going to put it on camera. But we got it right, so here's how we how we did it. First thing we did, got a piece of quarter-inch aluminum, and then we bent it so that it will go underneath the bottom part of the seat, which is this. It's going to go underneath between this and the seat. We connected it, drilling holes into aluminum to these three holes right here, and then we just slide it right in place.
So I know I didn't really have a total finished product, it's just more of the carpet is what I showed. That was the process, it took a couple days. I mean, I was working and then when I ran into some problems with the seats, it took me like a day to figure out what I was gonna do and so on. So it took a lot longer than I thought it was gonna take. You know, I was hoping to have it done in like three days max and if I would have been better prepared, I would have. But sorry that I didn't have a, a full finished product. My bow has been in my vlogs multiple times, so. More than likely, if you, if you haven't seen the seats, go to one of my first two or three, the first two videos that I put up. I think my boat was in the, in the video there. So more than likely, my seats and, and the carpet are, are in there if you wanna see those. Thanks for watching. You know, subscribe, comment down below. If you, know, you have any questions or anything about the boat or doing your own boat, you know, I'm, like I said, I'm not an expert, but I have the experience now that I could tell you at least what not to do based on the things I wish I wouldn't have done or I, things I wish I would have done differently. Go ahead and hit that like button and please subscribe, you know, share this with anybody. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.